It was good, ma'am. We talked with many students there, and we also tried to know their lifestyle, food habits, and hygiene, etc. And they also seemed very excited to see us. Yeah, but there was one specifically a child there who was showing some abnormal physical characters, such as stunted growth, abnormally thickened skin, protruded abdomen, and uh, enlarged tongue. Okay. So, do you know the disease the child was suffering from? Yes, ma'am. Is this due to cretinism? Yes, very good. Ma'am, can you please explain more about it? Okay, let's go to demo code and I'll explain more about cretinism. Okay, students, so today we will learn about cretinism. Cretinism is basically hypothyroidism in children. Let's take a look at the definition. Cretinism refers to the congenital hypothyroidism and it is due to the underactivity of the thyroid glands during early childhood, which results in stunted growth and mental retardation. Now we take a look at types of retinism. Types of retinism are mainly congenital and endocrine. Congenital retinism can be caused due to defect in the genes encoding various enzymes that are involved in thyroid hormone synthesis. Endocrine retinism is a type of retinism which occurs in the children who are living in the geographical settings that iodine is deficient, such as the northeastern belt or the Himalayan belt. Now we take a look at causes of retinism. Causes of retinism are mainly two. First is the failure of the thyroid gland to secrete or synthesize the thyroid hormone. Secondly is iron in deficiency in diet. The cretinism symptoms. Firstly, appearance size, there is a puffy face and loss of eyebrows. Next is sensory, which is reduced hearing. And thyroid, the thyroid gland, which results in wider, again, iron deficiency. Then we have pulmonary symptoms, which is Pleural excretion, which is uh, the accumulation of pleural fluid around the lungs. Secondly, there is shortness of breath. Then there is metabolic, which is weight gain, gastrointestinal constipation, mus musculoskeletal mus muscle cramps, fatigue, and tiredness. Neurological and psychological, which is cognitive dis dysfunction, where there can be a uh, deficit in attention or motor functioning. Then there is slow speech and depression. Then we have cardiac symptoms, which is bradycardia, which is the slowing down of the heart rate. Then we have pericardial condition, which is again accumulation of fluid around the heart. Then we have reduced left ventricular function and dystolic hypertension. The reproductive system is also affected as the systems are irregular or heterogeneous. Loss of libido, soft fertility, and extremities may have paraesthesia and brittle Next, we have prevention of death. As it is caused by lack of iodine in the diet, we can enrich a diet with iodine and have ionized salt. Diagnosis of retinism. We have technetium thyroid can radioactive iodine test in which radioactive iodine is used to detect any abnormalities in the thyroid gland. Then we have postnatal, which is after birth, blood spot test, such as Guthrie's test. And we have elevated thyroid granding globulin and TSH levels and elevated serum T3 and T4, low T4 levels. Next, we take a look at treatment of retinism. Treatment should be started before the onset of If developmental abnormalities and mental retardation start to appear, it will not be reversed even with thyroid hormone replacement therapy. Because once there is a further mental retardation can only be stopped with treatment, it cannot be revived. Then we can also uh, have a temporary cure by giving thyroid hormone doses or enriching the diet with iron. The recommended dose is 10 to 15 micrograms per kg of body weight and the dose should be increased as the age progresses. Okay, that's all for today. Does anyone have any doubts? Now, what is the difference between Varkism? Good question. Varkism and Cretinism. Varkism is due to the deficiency of growth hormone and Cretinism is due to the deficiency of thyroid. There is stunted growth and short structure in thyroid hormone deficiency and growth hormone deficiency. But there is mental retardation and the reproductive system is affected in cretinism, which does not take place in thyroid. Now we can gene diagnose the health in detecting defective T3 and T4 encoding genes and can it be cured by gene therapy? Yes, gene detection is possible, but gene therapy cannot be given because modern biotechnology is not that developed. Maybe in the future it will be possible.